morning. It's, uh, you can probably hear the birds chirping. It's Carmen, I'm back, uh, here to talk about Poker Stars Touch program. I'm probably about six to eight weeks into the program and the final tournament's coming up in less than two weeks. So I'm starting to get really nervous and excited at the same time. So I've been trying to play as many tournaments as possible. Um, I had kind of a breakthrough the other day. Uh, I was in a tournament and there was, I think, just around 100 to 150 people in the tournament and uh, I cracked, I, I got 15th in the tournament. So not, I still haven't cracked that top 10, uh, but I was able to get to the last 15 and, and I still have troubles just kind of managing that stack. I mean, I had next to nothing and then, you know, a couple hands later I was up to 40, 42,000 I think. Um, but then I lost it within about four or five hands. So I just, I really have to uh, develop a strategy once I kind of get to that, you know, those, the last 20 people in the tournament. And, and I think too, like I looked at the playing time, I, I was playing for over an hour and a half. So, you know, you just, like I can understand uh, the skill that's involved in poker, not only, um, you know, knowing what to do and all the all the strategy, but just having the patience because you do start to lose lose a little bit of focus after an hour and a half, and that's when you need the focus is the most important is when you kind of get to that stage. Um, I've been off work for a couple days. I had uh, the opportunity to kind of sit poolside, and uh, I've I've been reading Daniel's book, and it's funny because I I started to read it when I first started the program, and it was. It was like a foreign language to me. I didn't, I couldn't, things he was saying to do, I didn't know the terminology. Um, so being able to kind of read it in stages has been really helpful for me. And uh, I mean, I would be lost without Daniel's book. So it's been huge. But, um, you know, I've just read, um, I'm just gonna flip through here, but um, one of the things was chapter nine. I think I talked to you a few weeks ago about just being playing against bullies and how hard that is. And uh, chapter nine, he kind of goes through the whole how to how to deal with a bully and, and how to sort of get back on top. And then the other thing I kind of liked is sort of the aggressive versus conservative play. Um, I don't know where I sit. Sometimes I think I can be, maybe that's a Gemini in me, I have that split personality, because sometimes I can be really aggressive, um, but I'm kind of conservative at the same time. Um, but that was really good. And then the other thing that I really liked was um, chapter 13, when less is more. So betting less um, is not always a bad thing. Uh, and sometimes I, I get, you know, you kind of maybe you watch too much TV and they go all in and, and that's not necessarily the best policy. And uh, the only other thing I really like, the stack size. So I think I covered that in the book, which I was struggling with a couple weeks ago. Um, so just how to manage kind of your stack size, especially when it's small and you're playing against people that have a big, big stack. So that's in a, in a nutshell kind of what I've been after. Um, I'm, I'm just going to keep trying to play tournaments. I got to get to the end of, I'm hoping uh, with another couple days off, I'll be able to finish Daniel's book and uh, we'll, see, we'll see where it goes. But uh, tournaments, I think, on the 20th and uh, I'm a little nervous, but I'm going to keep practicing. So, hope you enjoyed my video. We'll talk soon. Bye.